we're ready for our last video today to be in language. Uh, today's Tuesday, April 28th. For language today, you will need page 163 to page 164 out of your book. We will have quiz 14 tomorrow. Yes, quiz 14 um, tomorrow. So we'll go over what to study for for that. All right. So let's look at page 163. Page 163, the remember and think A will be the bulk of your quiz tomorrow. Comparing when to use ER and when to use EST. So let's look at our remember box at the top. Add ER to an adjective when comparing two nouns. ER when comparing two nouns. Add EST to an adjective when comparing three or more nouns. David is older than Stephen. You see those are two boys. David is the oldest boy in our class. There's several boys that are comparison there. So David is the oldest. Use the word more before a long adjective when comparing two nouns. More beautiful, more useful. Use the word most before a long adjective when comparing three or more nouns. Most beautiful, most useful. Look at the little stars there. Do not add the word more or most and ER or EST to the same adjectives. Bigger, not more bigger. Biggest, not most biggest. If, you know, the apple is the biggest, it is the biggest apple there. It's not the most biggest. There could be only one biggest, okay? So, Remember that. Um, do not add the word more or most and ER or EST to the same adjectives. The last sentence there, some adjectives change completely when used to compare. Bad, worse, worst, good, better, and best. Bad. All right. Not the goodest. All right, let's look at um, Think A. And like I said, tomorrow, the, you'll have three sections. Two of your sections will be this comparison. Okay? So if I could have you to highlight something, it would be the box the, with the shooting star there to remember. So let's look. Um, I'm going to do a couple of these with you, and then um, I'm going to let you do the rest, but we're going to go to the back and review for a little bit. So look at Think A. Write the correct adjective in the blank for each comparison. Nathan's pillow is fluffy than William's pillow. Okay, so let's think. Nathan's pillow, we're comparing two pillows, fluffier. But remember, let's, let's write F, L, U, F, F. What do we change the Y to? I. Don't forget that. Fluffy er. Okay, we don't want fluffy air, fluffier. Number two, dad's soup is hot. What would we use than my soup? How many soups are we comparing? Two soups, but let's be careful here. We would have hot. Now we're adding er. What do we need to do to the t's to keep the o short? Double the T's. Hotter. H-O-T-T-E-R, not hotter. We'll do one more together. Of all these elk, that elk has the large rack of antlers. So this group of elk has more than one. That's right. So of all these elk, that elk has the Large, we drop our silent E there and add EST. We don't want large yeast. No two E's, just the one E from the suffix EST. Okay, 
I'll let you do four through seven on your own. Now be careful with six and seven. Today's paper is good than yesterday's paper. Please don't put good on it. Look back to your box and look at the form, how it changes. And number seven, is your cough bad than it was last week? Is your cough badder? I don't know either. Look up at the box. Write B, write a sentence using the adjective. Remember to compare the correct number of nouns. So ER has two nouns, EST three or more. So before we turn to the back of the page, the third section on your quiz tomorrow will be identifying declarative, imperative, exclamatory, and interrogative sentences. You will write what type of sentence it is way from a long time ago and add the punctuation. Just remember not to overuse exclamatory. Okay? So that will be your quiz for tomorrow. Let's look at the back, page 143. Um, you will not have any of these sections on your quiz tomorrow, but I do have the first two sentences from Think A on the board so that we could do those together. Um, so let's look at it for just a second. Think A. Draw a box around the nouns in each sentence. Circle the adjectives and draw a small arrow from the adjective to the noun it describes. Remember that some nouns may have more than one adjective. Cool. All right, so let's go. I have number one on the board. Ryan's blue wagon has a broken wheel. What are my nouns? Let's draw a box around them. Wagon. Has a broken wheel. So wagon and wheel are your boxes there. So now let's go back and look for adjectives. So let's start with wagon. Does blue describe wagon? Sure. Ryan's describe wagon? Absolutely. It shows whose. Whose wagon? Ryan. So we're finished there. Now let's go down to wheel. Does broken describe wheel? Absolutely. Can I get you? A? Uh, yes. A and or the. So a uh, broken describes wheel. Ryan's blue describes wagon. Let's look at number two. Two flowers were placed in a green vase. So let's go through and pick out our nouns and box them. So uh, the first one is flowers. They were placed in a green vase. Oh, I almost hit these there. So we have, let's start with flowers. Let's back up. Does two describe flowers? Yes, it does. How many? We're finished there, so let's go to vase. Does green describe vase? Absolutely. Does a uh describe vase? Absolutely. A and or the. So two describes flowers, uh, green describes vase. I'm going to let you finish three, four, and five on your own. I'll give you a, a hint. Number three has three nouns. Number four has two nouns. And number five has three nouns. Okay? So let's look at think B. Underline the verb or verb phrase in each sentence. Circle the adverbs and draw a small arrow from each adverb to the verb it describes. So if you want to go ahead and start on Think B, my grandmother prays for me daily. So if you want to go ahead and find that verb, I'll catch up here in just a second.
So my grandmother prays for me daily. So what is my verb here? My grandmother prays for me daily. My verb is praise. Okay. And look at the end of the sentence. How often? My grandmother prays for me daily. So we will circle daily as our adverb and match it to praise. My grandmother prays for me daily. We could even take off the adverb. It's just, it's extra information. It's detail. My grandmother prays for me daily. Good. Okay, so that is the extra information there. It's adding to the sentence. Number two, Mrs. Ryder. Clearly. Explain the assignment. Okay. What is my verb? Explain. Correct. Underline that twice. Now, look at the end of the sentence. The adverb is answering the question, how? How did she explain it? What is my adverb? which means adding detail to the verb. Correct. It's clearly. So we need to circle clearly and match it to explain. Because you could leave that piece of information out and just say, Mrs. Ryder explained the assignment. And that's still a complete sentence. We'll do number three, and that'll be the last one we do together. Mom and Dad carefully... our family vacation. Okay, what is our verb? Planned, that's correct. Now at the end of the sentence it says how. How did they plan the vacation? What's the adverb? Correct. Carefully, so we need to circle carefully and mark, uh, match it to plan. You could leave that out and say, Mom and Dad planned our family vacation, but you gave the detail of carefully. That's right. So you do four, five, and six on your own, and then remember C, describe each verb by writing an adverb that answers each adverb question. Look at the verb there. You have the little tab that says verb. Eat, how, politely, when, tomorrow. So you finish, remember, C there. Okay, so again, tomorrow, you have your quiz 14 tomorrow on the um, page 163 is mainly what the quiz is on, the comparisons there. Remember the last section, if you need to look in your glossary of your language book for your types of sentences, um, declarative, exclamatory, imperative, interrogative, and adding that punctuation. Okay, so that is our last video for today, being Tuesday. I hope you guys have a fantastic afternoon, and if you're watching these videos early enough and you can join us for lunch today, then I'll look forward to that. Um, and we'll try to plan some times that are different so we can, I know people are on different schedules, so we can get everybody together again. But I'm enjoying seeing you and spending some time with you. But again, if you have any questions, just please, you know, have someone contact me, okay? So guys, make it a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow, which will be Wednesday. Wow, already time's flying. Have a good day.